Hello, today I'm going to show you the difference between the old Apple TV firmware, which is uh, version 4.4, and the newly announced version, which is version 5.0. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some of the menus, showing you the speed, and some of the different things that they introduced in version 5.0. So now we're looking at version 4.4, which was a version before 5.0. It was the latest one that you could have. And um, there I was just going through the menus real quick. Now I clicked on movies, and I'm going through the top movies. And here you can see the layout that they chose. Um, this is the layout that they chose for when you're looking at the movie uh, itself, like Hugo. Uh, now I, I clicked on a trailer, and this is how long it is taking to load. As you can see, it's really not slow. It's um, very manageable, uh, I guess as fast as you could, would need it to be. And um, see now the trailer's just pre it was loading, and, and I clicked back, and now we're back. Going back through the menus and looking at some other things. And here's some of the apps, the way it was laid out, you'd scroll down. Now we clicked on YouTube, we're looking at uh, the featured YouTube videos. As you can see, they have like a thumbnail and the you, you can scroll on the right side. So that's how it was in 4.4. That's uh, Here's a video loading, 3 William Johnson. Now if you click up on the remote, you can see the description. You click back on the menu once and you can bring it up to this little sub-screen where you can rate the video. And here I'm just going to give it five stars, might as well, it's a good video. All of his videos are great. So there, you're just kind of, you're getting a look at how 4.4 was. I'm sure you guys are used to it, or if, you're, if you don't have an Apple TV, this is what it's looked like for quite a while. Even between, they believe, I, or version 3 and version 4, they did redo the whole thing. But a lot of the menus work the same. This one and the new version 5.0 which you'll see in a couple seconds they really changed a lot they didn't just change the surface of it they changed how the inner menus look and some of those some of them are the same and some are different and now all you gotta do is go into general and hit update software to update it to version 5.0 and this is a 20 times speed increase it doesn't take that fast it took more like 20 minutes or so and there it's done and also this is a 20 times speed increase and now we're at 5.0. So here is the newest version. As you can see, they have uh, opted for a more icon style. Everyone seems to like big icons now. Um, a couple new apps have been introduced, and some of those being the iTunes trailer, Vimeo, YouTube, all those were there, but they were kind of hidden. Like I showed you before, they were under the internet category. Now they have big, nice icons, and I hope they'll get used more because they really are great apps. I like uh, watching Vimeo and YouTube on the Apple TV. Just because it's real simple and easy, and there is no, uh, there's no ads, so that's kind of nice. Now here's same video. As you see, they chose the same description on the left, uh, scroll on the right, same little. If you click up, it shows the description. If you click menu back, same thing. Click options, you get back to the same screen. So that's all the same. Like I said, they didn't change everything, but if you like, the, so that was the same. But this is completely different. And um, here's a new app, Trailers. So this is kind of exciting. This they have they brought it onto the iPhone, and the iPad, or an iPod Touch, and it's a great way to watch uh, the newest trailers that you might not even known about. I've, you know, found out about a couple really great movies through that app. And it, as you can see, even this has changed quite a bit. Now you have this new like uh, uh, that well. Once I will go back to it. This is pretty much the same, but if you press menu, you get to this top like menu bar, I guess you could say, this navigation area. And this is how you scroll through some of the um some of the features. And once you are off that, it, it hides away. So that's kind of nice. It's not always there like it used to be in the previous version. So here we're into settings and settings they kept the same. Uh you know, so I just I like the icon base style. It really works, and I think it'll bring attention to some of, the, some of the apps that people wouldn't have used before. There's Flickr. I wasn't signed into Flickr, so I couldn't look at anything. But you know, it just it brings attention to the things that you didn't really look at before. And overall, I really like the update. Or like I said before, the icons are nice. Um, you know, they didn't they didn't really change anything as far as functionality. Everything's still the same. The way this looks, this menu right here, that's still the same. That's identical. But it, it does seem faster for you to watch how much, how long it took to load. The 
in between when you click play and when the trailer actually started playing was considerably less than on iOS, or I'm sorry, version 4.4. You can definitely tell there's been some major speed improvements in this new update. Everything just seems to load a little bit quicker and overall feels snappier. This all equates to a better user experience. So if you haven't updated to the newest version of 5.0, I highly suggest you do so. It takes all of 20 minutes and I believe you will enjoy your Apple TV a lot more than you did before. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. As always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.